welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do an update on trying to conceive and plus a life update because I'm really frustrated right now with everything. So I am going to vent to YouTube and whoever watches this. <laughs> um, first off, I am in I'm cycle day 14. And I I did have, um, I took my dosage of Clomid cycle days 5 through 9. Didn't feel anything, no symptoms. I'm not feeling anything now, no cramping, no anything. So, uh, yeah. And because of my, because of um, my work schedule and my internship and Michael's um, uh, work schedules, he has two jobs, but with both of those, he... Our schedules are in conflict, so we only got to baby dance once this week so far. But since I'm not at my internship right now, it's still like, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's like 15 minutes till 10 o'clock. So I'm supposed to be at my internship, but I'll get into the reason why I'm not later on in the video. But, you know, our schedules usually are in conflict with each other this or all this week really, so we haven't been baby dancing at all except for once this week which was cycle day 12 which brings me to my OPKs now I'm completely frustrated with this because last month I still had some OPKs left from the brand answer and I also bought um, more OPKs from the brand or from Target their brand up and up so I've been doing both. I've been comparing them to see which one I like the better. But it's really just causing a lot of frustration because they're different. I'm pretty sure it's cycle day 9. Cycle day 9 is when I started the OPKs. So cycle day 9 pretty much says negative. Um, cycle day 10 could be a positive on both. Cycle day 11, one says negative and one says positive. Cycle day 12 is either or, yes and no. Cycle day 13 is the same thing, yes and no. And today, the same thing. One says positive and one says negative. So I have no idea. I probably should have just used one brand. Or stuck with the answer brand or I don't know I am so confused so I don't know if I'm ovulating or not or which one is telling the truth which one is not my temperature has pretty much remained the same it's been 96 but the point has been different like 0 0.8 0 0.6 0 0.3 I didn't take it today because I couldn't find the, the thermometer I have no idea where it is right now so, that's making me frustrated with the whole trying to conceive this month because I'm using two different brands and our schedule is conflicted right now. And to make situations worse, worse to get into the life update, my I go to University of Phoenix and we have what we call field experience, which is internship. Usually, the, field, the first field experience is 15 weeks long. And the second one is also 15 weeks long. But usually you have a couple classes at the beginning of the bachelor's degree program. You have a couple classes. Then you have a um, one, your first in, internship or field experience. And then you have a couple classes. And then you have your second field experience. And But the way mine is, they're back to back. And... So I was supposed to start my second field experience yesterday, but when I logged into my um, my eCampus student portal thing or whatever you want to call it, it the first thing that popped up once I logged in was our records indicate that you are not scheduled for any classes, which I'm like, what is going on? Like I don't understand. And I know there was a lady that, um, from the field experience division, people or whatever, she pretty much made it sound like all she needed to know was 
Yes, I'm staying at my current field experience placement. I'm still at the organization. If my supervision or supervisor and phone numbers and contact information were the same or not. It was pretty much like all she needed from me was a yes or no answer. But it turns out that she needed me to redo the um, the internship. I mean, redo the form, which is, you know, total crap because I've already did the form before even starting officially with my internship. I've already done that. I've already filled it out. I've already stated that, yes, both of my internships are going to take place at the same place. So why I have to go through this again is making me really frustrated because now instead of starting yesterday, I'm starting, I'm supposed to start in August with my field experience, which is going to put me a month behind graduating. And that's really frustrating. So frustrating. And it's only a month and I'm trying to tell myself at least it's not like six months or something. It's only a month, but the point is I did everything I was supposed to. I filled out that form. I don't know how long ago I've already done my part and I don't understand why I have to wait for the same agency that I am currently going to stay at to um oh what am I trying to say to be approved again. She's thinking that there's probably going to be another site evaluation and if that's the case then that might, I might not even start in August. It might push it even more. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm so frustrated. I'm so over it. I'm so done. I'm like the whole senioritis thing. I was almost there. Now I'm going to have to hold out for another month if she won't put me back into class. So it's still early for me. And there, Arizona is on a three-hour um, time difference. So I'm trying to wait. So I know for sure she'd be in her office. I did email her last night, you know, with my questions and concerns and frustrations and everything else. And I wasn't mean or anything, but she's going to know I'm upset. And yeah, so I'm dealing with that. So this month has, it's, this month sucks. So I don't know if I'm going to have any luck conceiving this month because I'm stressed, I'm frustrated, it seems like nothing is going right this month, and <sighs> I don't know. But on the bright side, I went to my internship and let them know what happened, what, you know, everything to a T. I, you know, whatever. I even ended up crying and breaking down because I'm so upset and with school and trying to finish and everything and I'm grateful that the the um the organization that I'm with doing my field experience with is very supportive so that made me feel better I'm still <laughs> I'm still frustrated but I don't think I'm more frustrated than I don't think I'm gonna end up crying again or anything but um yeah they were, they were really supportive they gave me hugs and they were like anything you got anything they needed me to do or needed yeah anything that I needed them to do they would definitely do it they would call my school they would send a letter they would do anything in that regards as well as anything I I needed personally they would be there for me so I'm very grateful for that I'm just anxious to get on the phone and talk and see if she can fix this because if this is something on their part that they didn't do or they lost the paperwork for, I mean, that's not fair to me because I've been working my butt off. I've been doing what I'm supposed to. I've been interning. I've been doing all the classwork on top of that plus going to work. Like, I'm, I've been doing my part. This is not fair to me. And I hope that as easily as they took me out of class, they can easily put me back into class. And I don't know what's going to happen with that because, like I said, I haven't called yet. I'm waiting till probably lunchtime to call before, at least before I go into work. Um, but that's where I'm at right now. So it doesn't look, 
doesn't look too good right now. I don't know. I don't think I'll I'll get pregnant this month because of the stress and not having enough time to um, baby dance. So, though I am not interning today, they sent me home to relax and figure everything out. And so, maybe when my boyfriend gets home, which should be soon. Yeah, he should be here any minute, so he works at night. Uh, he, like, gets up at 3 a.m., has to be at work by 4 a.m., and then gets home by, like, 10 a.m., so he should be here soon, so I'm going to update him on everything and then see if he's in the mood to <laughs> baby dance, so, yeah. Oh, and another thing about this frustrating school thing is that we're trying to move. We're trying to move out of state. Now, with the University of Phoenix, it's online. So, therefore, normally, I could just pick up and go. But with it being in my field experience time, I can't do that. Because I need to actually be somewhere. You know, with the internship, I have to be at the organization. It's not like I can move and take the organization with me organization or the agency with me so I have to stay put until the end I mean and I don't know when we're moving we might not move until I don't know springtime we might not move until summertime the the whole moving thing is like up in the air he can move Within the company that he is with now, he can move up full-time, but we would go wherever there was a full-time position if there wasn't one available here. So we, right now, he filled out an application that could take us to Tennessee within his company. And then the um, other job that he's been dealing with for almost a year now is still on the process, the hiring process. So... We still don't know if he's even, we still don't know if he's accepted or not. The last thing he had to do, we're still waiting on the results on that. So, and the background check. So, we might, even if he does get that job, that particular job, there's still, he still has to um, do like um, three to four months of training. So, I might still be here, but after that, then we might move. So, I, having this school having the school frustration, not knowing when I'm actually going to start, if I'm actually going to be able to get back into the class, and then not knowing whether we're going to move or not is so frustrating because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to be stuck here a little bit longer because of my school or what. Like, I was supposed to be officially done with my field experience if I had started yesterday. I would be done at, at the end of October. So, I mean, it's, at that point, it, that would have been perfect. Because if we had to move at the end of the year in December or something, then, you know, I would be done with my field experience. And then it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter anymore because I was done. I didn't, you know, but <sighs> having everything up in the air like this is completely frustrating and stressful. So... It just seems like this month everything is just adding up. <laughs> so, I don't know. So this update isn't a very good one. It's a frustrating con one. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'll get back to you guys later when I have another update. Which hopefully will be a better one than this one. So, yes. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe Subscribe to the video or to my channel to stay tuned for more updates, and I will see you later. Thank you. Bye.